morning for say. Um, I hope you're having a positive morning on the third day of easy hour. Um, I thought that maybe I would review some subtraction strategies with you that we worked on for a larger visit numbers since you have so much of that in your must be parts of your NTI packet. Um, so I thought we would review constant difference, standard algorithm, and expanded form, but know that you have other strategies that you can use as well. Remember, you're making sense of the numbers and trying to use um, your number sense and what works best for you to try to solve. I also have the number line going because um, I've noticed that a lot of you are pretty efficient when it comes to finding the difference when you get to add up on the number line. So don't forget that strategy as well. And I'm actually going to use this number line to help you review constant difference and why that could be an efficient strategy for some numbers. Now, we know that um, before you jump into a strategy, you need to think about the numbers because not all strategies are going to be most efficient. Um, for a set of numbers. So always think before you jump in. And of course, if all else fails, do what you do know how to do. And if that takes you a while, that's okay. You're still developing. So be patient with yourself. But I thought I would take this problem. I think it's the very first um, subtraction problem after the example on your first um, uh, in, uh, math and writing work is what it is. Um, so 745 minus 548. If we're thinking about the constant difference strategy, we're trying to get, um, especially the part that we're removing, to a very friendly number. And what do I mean by friendly number? If you remember, it's numbers that end in zeros. Um, the more the merrier, right? Because when we're taking away zeros, those are really easy to remove. You're not taking away anything. So we want to get as many of these place values as to zero as possible. So how does the constant difference strategy work? Remember, if you give a certain amount to one of the numbers, then you need to also give that same amount to the other number. So the distance remains the same on the number line. Remember, we're finding the difference between 548 and 745 when we're subtracting. So um, likewise, if you take from a particular number, you need to take the same amount from the other number so the distance remains the same. And so kind of to review a visualization of that, if I'm looking at 548 and I want to get that to a friendly number since that's what I'm removing, I probably need to, um, I think I'm going to add to this. I think that would be easier for me. So I see if I added 2 to 548, that would get me to 550, 550. And that's easier, and that's more friendly, but I think I can get this number even friendlier. And so I'm thinking, how can I get 548 to 600? What would you do? Hopefully you're thinking, okay, if I add 2, that gets me to 550. And if I add 50 to 550, then I get to 600, and 50 and 2 make 52. So if I add 52... 548 then I get to 600. Well I want to keep the distance the same, the difference the same on the number line. So if I do that to what I'm removing I also need to add 52 to what um, I started with in the original problem. So I need to add 52 to 745. And so what do I get when I add 745 plus 52? We should get 797, okay? And you're thinking, well, that's not a very friendly number, but that's not what's important because we now have a new problem of finding the difference between 600 and 797. And that you can already probably just do in your head. But I'm going to also put it up here on the board because there's another way to also look at this. So I, am, I will in just a minute, okay? Go get a tissue. Right. So I'm going to put this up here on the board with just the numbers instead of the visualization. So what we did was we added 52. And that got us to 600. And I did the same thing to the first number what I started with and got 700. 
and 97. And now I have a much more sim simpler problem to uh, subtract. Okay, so I have 7 minus 0 is 7, 9 minus 0 is 9, so 7 1 minus 0 1 is 7, 1, 9 tenths minus 0 tenths is 9 tenths, and then 7 hundredths minus 6 hundredths is 100. So my answer to this is 197. And why, why does the cost of different strategy help in situations? What was the big reasoning for even considering this? Do you guys remember? Hopefully you're remembering about regrouping and subtraction sometimes requires a lot of regrouping. And so this took out the regrouping um, that we would have to do if we were subtracting this original set of numbers. So that leads me on to the standard algorithm. And we're going to compare the algorithm to the constant difference strategy so that you can see that hey, this. this problem requires some regrouping. Okay, I'll help you in just a minute, okay? Give me five more minutes, okay? I love you. All right, so the standard algorithm, which um, many of your parents are familiar with and can probably help you with, we always start in the lowest place value, okay? Five ones minus eight ones. Then we have five ones and remove eight ones. Not the way they're set up right now, okay? But we do have enough from the tens and the hundreds to remove some. Pause this just for a second, guys. All right, I'm back. So the, the challenges of working at home and, and taking care of your little ones and trying to keep everything as normal as possible, crazy right now, right? I'm sure it's crazy at your house too. That's okay, we'll get through it together. My husband's upstairs helping her out right now. He's taking a break from his work. So we were gonna talk about the standard algorithm and how um, there is re regrouping involved in here. And so we always start with the lowest place value, five ones minus eight ones. You have five ones and you want to take eight ones away. You can't do it, but looking at the other place values, we know that we have enough to actually complete the subtraction problem. Even if we were just removing eight from 745, we have plenty um, to remove um, from the, the tens and the hundreds. So that's where we call regrouping is involved and so what we're going to do is we're going to take um, a 10 from the four tens which leaves three tens behind and when we bring that 10 over to the ones place we're going to combine it with the ones that are already there so five ones plus the 10 we just put is 15 ones so i'm going to mark out the five and replace it with 15 ones all together now notice we haven't really changed the value of 745 at the top it looks different but it's um, the same value. Remember how Miss Lucas always says, we change how it looks, but not the amount, right? So 700 plus 30 plus 15 is still 745, or 700 plus 3 tens plus 15 ones is still 745, because we have not removed anything yet, okay? We're just making it easier to remove the stuff on the bottom, okay? So now we can look over here at the ones and do 8 minus 15 ones, which is seven ones. And now if you're struggling with your subtraction box, addition is the opposite of subtraction, and you guys have shown me that on the number one that you can add up. So if you're struggling to do 15 minus eight, think what goes with eight to make 15? Eight and seven make the 15. So that's a quick tip um, to help you with those subtraction box. Um, then we go to our tens place, and now we're in another predicament, okay? We now have three tens and we need to remove four. Um, can't do that, but we do have enough hundreds to move one of those hundreds over into the tens place. So I'm going to remove one of these hundreds. I'm not really removing it. I'm actually just regrouping it. So I am now have six hundreds and I'm going to take one of those hundreds and bring it to the tens. Now, um, how many um, tens does it take to make a hundred? It takes 10 tens to make 100. So that's why we're going to combine 10 tens with 3 tens to have 13 tens in all. Okay, so 13 tens minus 4 tens is 9 tens. And then we are left with the simple 600 minus 500 is 100. So we in fact got the same answer as when we were doing the constant difference. 
Now, you can take a look and see the differences. Um, this one required a lot of regrouping, and this one, we did a lot of addition to make the subtraction a lot easier. And in fact, we didn't even have to regroup at all with this constant difference strategy with this particular problem. Does it always work that nicely with every problem? No, you have to think about the numbers before you jump in. Another strategy that we've talked about, if you're not getting the constant difference, and that's a little bit of struggle for you to be making sense of those numbers, and doing the standard algorithm with the regrouping and the crossing out and all that is still confusing, and think, knowing the size of the numbers is confusing. Then we can take this to expanded form instead, which still allows you kind of to see the values of those digits and kind of helps you see what you're replacing and regrouping and, and moving and shifting. So um, this is another great strategy you can use. So in expanded form, we write the value of each digit, add it together, and then we're going to subtract the value of each digit that we're removing. And so we still start with the lower, lower place value and we think, and I do five ones minus eight ones. Well, just like up here, we couldn't do that. So we went to um, the tens and we took um, a, a ten that we needed and we brought it over here. So we took ten from here. So that's 30. We brought that ten over here and combined it with five, 15. So ten and five make 15. So 15 minus eight is the seven. Can we do 30 and remove 40? Just like up here, we have the same issue. We cannot do that, but we have uh, some hundreds over here that we can regroup. So I'm going to take a hundred from there, which leaves six hundred. I'm going to bring that hundred over here. If I combine one hundred plus the thirty, I'm going to have one hundred and thirty. Now, what's the difference between one hundred thirty and forty? Now, if you're trying to skip back, um, by tens four times, that's a great strategy. 130, 120, 110, 100, and then back to 90. That's getting back um, four tens, right? Or you can start at 40 and count up to the difference and find the difference of 90. And then we have the 600 minus the 500, which is 100. And then we have this expanded form that we're now going to put into standard or number form, and that would be 197. And so we have three different subtraction strategies all giving us the same answer, and there is more out there. You, we uh, did a big tree map of all the different strategies, and I'm pretty sure I put a picture of that on our Facebook page. So um, if you need help with your subtraction, don't hesitate to reach out. And um, I, am, I have FaceTime, so if you need to FaceTime me, I can help you with that. Um, or if you want to talk on the phone and work through some problems, that's fine too. Um, now this was a this was a rather easier problem and because it was just involved three digit numbers. There are some problems that involve uh, four digit numbers um, in your work and we know from the work that we've done before and, and through our tests that we've even worked with five digit numbers, six digit numbers. Um, and so if you need some help with those, I am here. So reach out to me and um, hopefully this helps you um, understand uh, and remember some of the strategies that we've been using. Good luck.